some uh, breaking news now out of uh, out of Memphis that's ongoing. Uh, and this is a tweet from a Memphis police. They say at 5.07 p.m. officers in the 1600 block of Victor located a deceased party. The identity of this person and the cause of the death is unconfirmed at this time. The investigation is ongoing. Once additional information is available, we will provide an update. Here is a live picture out there of Memphis as we've been following a story uh, due to uh, the disappearance of a jogger. They've made an arrest uh, out there in Memphis. Uh, we're not 100% sure if this is the same investigation. We're still waiting for Memphis police to give us an update on that. But here's what we do know now from our Fox 13 affiliate out there in Memphis. Kayla Solomon says police focused on this area. Here we're looking at live, just walking distance away from Cleo with Abstin's brother's home in South Memphis. Cleotha Abstin is the person they have arrested and charged with kidnapping. So close to their brother's home in South Memphis, the streets blocked off. Uh, and they include several streets, Dyson, Person, and South Orleans. And this is the same wooded area we observed. Uh, they observed that search yesterday. Um, they're also looking at uh, an intersection on Chestnut Avenue, uh, dozens of police vehicles there as we continue to try to find uh, more information. But certainly a lot of police activity there from uh, Memphis as this jogger's disappearance in the last few days. Of course, uh, new charges have been filed against the man accused of abducting a Memphis mother and teacher, Eliza Fletcher. Fletcher was kidnapped while running at around 4.30 a.m. on Friday, September 2nd, near the University of Memphis, according to Memphis police. Two days later, on September 4th, yesterday, Cleotha, Cleotha, Abstin was arrested and charged with aggravated kidnapping there. As you can see, our shot going down a little bit. This is what we do here on Live Now from Fox. Certainly, uh, live pictures go in and out as we're trying to get the latest breaking news. We're going back to the uh, tweet from the Memphis Police Department uh, as we still await uh, more information out of Memphis, and we'll keep an eye on that shot just to give you an update here. Abstin was given a $500,000 bond and charged with uh, especially aggravated kidnapping and tampering there in Memphis. We are continuing to watch all of the story here. Some uh, surveillance video that police saw as she was uh, pushed toward a vehicle uh, for the kidnapping there as uh, Cleotha Abson is now under arrest and uh, charged by police. Uh, Monday, September 5th today, new charges announced against Abson seemingly from an unrelated incident uh, before Fletcher was abducted. Um, we are continuing to follow this story as I'm trying to find more information. Uh, but Memphis police say Abson was connected to Fletcher's abduction after his sandals were found near Fletcher's cell phone and water bottle close to Central Avenue and uh, Zach Curlin Street, the area where authorities claim Abson forced Fletcher into a black 2013 GMC terrain. Uh, I am uh, currently seeing now a live picture once more, so we're going to go back out to it. Here's another live picture from Memphis as they investigate a jogger's disappearance. Uh, we're still hearing more on this uh, situation, this investigation out there in Memphis. We're having a, uh, we have now more information from the affidavit on the Memphis kidnapping on this update we're providing you. Police discover that body as the abduction was violent with, as captured on video, the subject waiting for, then rushing towards the victim, then forcing the victim into the car where she was confined and removed and continues to be missing. It is believed and supported by the facts and physical evidence that she suffered serious injury Further, it is probable and apparent from witness statements that these injuries left evidence of blood in the car the defendant cleaned. This is according to the affidavit there on those arrests and charges out of Memphis. Here's again one more look at uh, the live picture we're getting from our affiliates in Memphis as they're investigating a, uh, a, a body that they found, still unsure if it is Eliza Fletcher, but this is... Um, a lot of people are keeping an eye on it here, especially us at Live Now from Fox, uh, just about 5.07. So uh, Memphis police said they located a deceased 
party, the identity of that person, and the cause of death unconfirmed at this time. The investigation is ongoing. But you can see a lot of uh, lights and sirens there uh, from the Memphis police as there's a lot of activity, the police tape there from this live picture as you're watching here on Live Now from Fox. We're continuing to try to find more information on this situation going on here, but uh, those are the details right now that we know so far here on Live Now for Fox. I'm gonna put up a little bit more information just so you can see uh, what we're, we're focusing on here. And here's a, uh, here's a scene, as you can see on the left side of the screen, just more information uh, if you're just joining us late here on live now from Fox. It is 5.30 on the West Coast, uh, about 8.30 is as you can see the sun going down there uh, on the East Coast, Memphis, uh, East Coast time, I believe. Um, so um, still lots of uh, ongoing uh, information there, but uh, our shot seems to be going away really quickly. So I'm gonna continue to try to find as much information. You can see there's a uh, police tape still, some people coming and going. Um, there was the tweet from the Memphis police, but we're going back to um, just the video, the surveillance video from earlier about this situation in Memphis. Of course, uh, if you're just joining us here on this Labor Day weekend, here are some uh, updates on what we do know that uh, a man has been arrested and charged with kidnapping. Uh, police were in search of this victim, Eliza Fletcher, a mom, a teacher. Uh, out of the Memphis, University of Memphis area as she disappeared early on Friday morning as she went for a jog early in the morning. Uh, her family was saying that she generally does go for jogs very early in the morning. There was surveillance video of uh, an incident where they caught on camera of uh, a person pushing her toward a, a, a GMC, a 2013 GMC terrain. Uh, new charges have been filed against that man as they've arrested him. Um, at this location, which we're not entirely sure where it was because our Fox 13 affiliates were close to multiple different locations, a wooded area and also an intersection close to um, Cleotha Abstin's brother's house. Um, so this is what we do know so far. You can see a lot of Memphis TV stations uh, there as they're uh, trying to get as much information from the scene as possible. Of course, we are following this story very closely here on Live Now from Fox uh, as this is going to go. Uh, hopefully, we'll know more. Hopefully, we'll hear an update from police um, throughout this situation. So we're, we're continuing to find more information. Um, in tandem with my producer here, Matt Kirkland, as we're following this story like we always do, uh, live, raw, and unfiltered here on Live Now from Fox. Of course, hopefully we'll hear from Memphis police tonight about it, but uh, on Thursday, September 1, here's more information about Cleotha Abstin. On Thursday, September 1st, a woman reported to Memphis police that her cash app and Wisely card were being used at gas stations without her consent or knowledge. The woman told police that she left her wallet at work at a Malco on Germantown Row when investigators reviewed video from that Malco. They said they saw a member of a cleaning service take her wallet and arrest affidavit shows. The manager of that cleaning service identified the person who took the wallet as Abstin police said. The woman whose wallet was stolen told police uh, the woman was Eliza Fletcher, the woman whose wallet was stolen, told police which gas stations or card had been used at and investigators were able to recover footage showing Abstin using cards at gas pumps, according to an arrest affidavit. In all, Abstin took over $900 from her, police said. In connection to the case, Abstin now faces charges of identity theft, theft of property, $1,000 or less, and fraudulent use, illegal possession of credit cards, debit cards, according to that arrest affidavit. The woman uh, of course, is uh, Eliza Fletcher. So we're following the story right now out of, uh, out of Memphis as we continue to follow uh, as much as we can. Uh, but those are the details we know right now on Live Now from Fox. Uh, we do not see a current shot up of, uh, of uh, 
of Memphis, of Fox 13, our affiliate out there uh, in Memphis. But we'll keep you updated on this situation. I'm going to give you a recap one more quick time before we take a break here. Uh, but this is a tweet from Memphis police. They say officers at the 1600 block of Victor located a deceased party. The identity of this person and the cause of death is unconfirmed at this time. The investigation is ongoing. Once additional information is available, we will provide an update. That from Memphis police. And we are uh, certainly watching this very closely as it potentially could be related to Eliza Fletcher and the missing jogger from Friday morning here on Live Now from Fox 